The Demetrius Johnson Charitable Foundation, providing career opportunities for the young adults of the St. Louis community. Recently, the DJCF invited seven St. Louis businesses to attend a session with St. Louis area high school seniors with one goal in mind, to develop careers. The day began with Demetrius introducing himself to the students and explaining the purpose for the event. My name is Demetrius Johnson. I'm the founder of the Demetrius Johnson Charitable Foundation. And, but the, the main purpose of having you folks here today is to give you an opportunity. You, some of your seniors who's going to be graduating, who may not want to go to college, uh, you know, may not want to go to the, 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 the Army, uh, Navy, Marines, but have an opportunity to continue to move forward in your life. Because you don't go to college don't mean your life stops. So trust me. I mean, there's a lot of my friends who have not gone to college, who's doing great in their lives, being able to take care of their families. And that's what it's all about, taking care of yourself and being able to take care of your family and become a productive citizen. Because when it's all said and done, I don't care, you're black, white, young, you know, the young folks today have a bad reputation. And that reputation is they don't want to work, they're lazy, they don't want to do anything. I don't believe that. I have kids your age. You know, and I know I try to in, in, in put in their heart and their mind to work hard to do the right thing. That's all it's here about doing the right thing and making your life better. So we have these companies here, and I'll be telling you, and after they, these guys talk about each one of the companies that's here. These companies not here just to be here wasting their time. They here looking to hire young men and women for careers. Now let me make this clear to you. They don't owe you anything. They don't owe you anything. Only thing they're gonna do is give you opportunity. When you take that opportunity, you take advantage of it. Because sometimes you don't have another chance to get a second opportunity, I'm telling you. I came out of the Dodge Webby Peabody Projects. All right, I went to the University of Missouri. Went to McKinley High School, so I'm a St. Louis public school graduate. And I'm proud of that. So anytime you talk about not doing the right thing, hey, I had obstacles in my way too, trust me. All the things you're going through today, we went through it at our age. Drugs, fights, shooting, everything, the same thing. It haven't changed. The only thing that has changed in my life, I'm a better guy. I'm a better person. I do things a little differently now. I want to do something. I, I feel good to go home and take care of my family. I feel good with my son and daughter want to go to a, a sporting event and I can afford to do it. I feel good to be able to take my kids out to eat. That, that's a good feeling. You know, not asking people for $5 for gas. I mean, I'm telling you, this is a great opportunity and I want each and every one of you to take it that way. So when you sit down and have a conversation with these folks from these various companies, take it serious. This is no joke. If you don't want to do it, I'm going to tell you something. Let me make this clear right now. If you don't want to do it, just it's okay. When we start moving around, just slip on out the door and just wait out in the hall for your, 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 your students, your, your classmates. All right? I'm not going to force you to do this. This is an opportunity. This is something new. But if you want to do this, you're going to have to be committed. You're going to have to want to do it. Nobody's going to make you do this. So I want y'all to make this clear. Nobody is forcing you to sit down with these companies. Next, the students would hear from the seven local companies of TJ Weiss Contracting, Schnooks Markets, Thomas Industrial, Lodging Hospitality Management, the City of St. Louis, the Keefe Group, and the Hyatt Regency at the Arch. This is the TJ Weiss Company. Good morning. How's everyone? Um, my name is Russell Stewart. I am the field superintendent for TJ Weiss for the Carpenters. Um, we do, we're do a commercial construction company, metal studs, drywall, acoustical ceilings, taping, you know, ride variety. A um, little bit about myself. I've been in the trade 34 years. been with TJ Weiss 21 years. I've been a superintendent for seven. Um, I know you guys are getting ready to graduate. graduate. I know college isn't for anybody. It wasn't for me. Um, I don't even have a high school 
diploma. I have a GED. Um, but, you know, it wasn't for me, but I worked hard. <clears throat> Excuse me, and here I am. So that can happen to everybody out here. My official title is, is Quality Systems Coordinator and EEO Officer of the company. Uh, I, I tell you, and we'll cut to the chase, what we're looking for here, here today. So if you can't be one of these things, uh, I'll be honest, don't come to our table. If you can't be safe, in other words, understand what the rules, safety rules are of a particular job and follow those rules. We want people that are going to be on time. We want people that are going to work hard. Uh, and we want people that are willing to learn. Those are That's what we're looking for here today, uh, people that, that want to fill those roles. I didn't say you had to have a specific skill to come in. All that can be learned. But if you have a willingness to learn and work hard, there's nothing that you can't achieve. So, Rob? Yeah, good morning. Um, back to it. My name is Rob Iyer, uh, purchasing manager for our company. Uh, I'm going to put this in a big, bigger perspective for you. So, our company, I purchased probably, I, I'm in control of about $20 million worth of equipment. I do all of our purchasing from equipment to consumables to any other supplies that are needed. Um, opportunity. What DJ, the big word today is opportunity. And to say that, I've been, I, lived, I, I was born and raised in the city. I didn't have the opportunities you, got, you guys and girls are having right now. I didn't get that chance. I, I didn't have somebody who was behind me, backing me the whole time. I, didn't, I was out on the streets when I was 12 years old. I got into the wrong crowd. I got into <coughs> running an organization on the wrong side of the road. And, I, went, and I, I had college. I had eight and a half years of college, federal college. I went away, federal prison. I came home and the owner of our company, Don Thomas, gave me the opportunity, said that I see there's potential in you. And I want you to take that knowledge and that, that education that you have from the streets and put it on the business side of it. And I took that opportunity and I ran with it. And I'm hoping today, if it's just one, one kid in here, it changes their mind and says, you know what? I have a really good chance of being somebody or being a part of some type of family to grow in career not a stepping stone, a career. To be able to take that opportunity and run with it is huge. And don't think it can't be done, because I'm telling you right now, looking at me, it can be done. The opportunity is within you, though. You have to want. I have kids your age. You have to want. And I'm not saying that you're not, you don't want to work, you, you don't want to, you're lazy. It's none of that. It's getting that opportunity and taking off with it. You have to want it. I can't, they, they say you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. I can stick your head in the water and you still might not drink. That's up to you. So understand that given this opportunity, take it and run with it. Uh, so we work at Keep Group. Keep Group is uh, the leading uh, company in uh, we provide products to correctional facilities throughout the U.S. Uh, we run for 45 years since 1975. Uh, we do everything from the systems that they have inside the facilities where the uh, inmates go and place their orders. They place them online and come through to us. Uh, when we, at our facility, we take the uh, orders and ship them out to the facilities and pass them out to the individuals. Uh, we have a lot of different uh, positions with the, inside the company. So it could be in the warehouse, or customer service, or in manufacturing. Uh, so a whole bunch of different positions you could uh, go into. Uh, All right, next I want to bring up uh, folks from LHM, Lodge and Hospitality Management. Uh, they own probably about 50% of all the hotel rooms in, in the city of St. Louis, and they got various uh, job opportunities uh, for everyone. Thank you, ladies. Uh, we are actually at the Doubletree in Chesterfield, uh, but we do have now 18 hotels throughout the St. Louis area. Um, there's also seven restaurants um, in addition to that, and we also have some commercial space as well. 
So uh, being with the largest hospitality company within the St. Louis area, there is a tremendous amount of growth opportunities. So whereas somebody may come in at a very entry level position, uh, they can grow to as far as they want within the company. Uh, we have a sous chef at our property out in Chesterfield and he started off as a line cook. And within five years, he was able to develop his career and move all the way up to that sous chef position. And in fact, he's looking for his next step. Uh, my name is Jared Washington with Shooks. Um, Shooks has been around since 1939. It's the largest grocery chain in the state of Missouri. You guys are probably all familiar, uh, familiar with this with our stores. When I interview people, and they ask me, I'll get this question every once in a while, um, how is it working for Schnucks or, you know, what do you enjoy about working for Schnucks? The first thing I always say is, Schnucks has a lot of growth opportunities. Um, I started working for Schnucks in June of 2003. I was at Rankin at the time, it's in summer, and I needed a job, part-time job. I said, you know what, I'll just, I'll work there until I go, until I get a real job, I'll, I'll, I'll work at Schnucks. I was at the Schnucks on Sarah and Linda. Um, seven years later, I was still with Schnucks, and it was all, but it was great, great experience. I learned a lot, and um, after seven years there, I had the opportunity to go to our employment department, which we now call Talent Acquisition. Um, in October, it'll be 10 years in Talent Acquisition. So in June, it'll be, uh, Six, seven, uh, seven, I forgot, I mean, with the company. 16, 17 years with the company this year. We have a lot of growth opportunities. You come in and do a good job, anything is possible. Yeah. So, the <laughs> city's a neat opportunity. You, you guys got to be scared to death. I mean, DJ kind of went into that a little bit. Here you are, high school, you've been making it, now you're turned into adults. And you're like, I want to screw up my first pick. You know, the, the city, you come there, you get a job, there's all these different opportunities you can advance to. I've, uh, I've been here 30 years, I think I'm in my 12th position. So you gotta think about that. Don't be afraid to dive into that first one. Take that risk and try it. You gotta take that leap, and I know it's a big leap. I got five teenagers, 20 year olds at home. I know what it's like. Everybody's different, everybody's unique. We have a lot of unique opportunities in the city. And uh, you gotta take that jump and jump in somewhere. You've got some awesome other companies there. If you actually know the trade you wanna do, and you want to go into that, hey, go for it. You get in a union, you get a trade, that's wonderful. If you're kind of floating around trying something new, come see the city. Tons of opportunities. So it's special with the specialist with the city of St. Louis. Um, and what I do is I help people find jobs for all the different departments for the city. So um, what I like to tell people uh, about working for the city, so it's a career in public service. And I don't know if anyone's ever considered public service versus a regular company. But what it is, is it's a career of giving back. Because what we do, what all of us do in all the operating departments is we provide services to the citizens of the city. Um, I think it's really great that um, so many people have been talking about opportunity because in October of 2018, Hyatt um, Corporation rolled out something they called the Opportunity Youth Program. And that's to hire people like you. Um, people who are neither working nor in school and under the age of 24. Um, and Hyatt's goal with this is to create careers for these people. Um, I'm a really great example of Hyatt growing and developing people. It's something we're really passionate about as a company. Um, I started as a server in the bar in 2010. I worked my way up. I have held eight positions within the Hyatt. Um, and now I'm the human resources manager, so I recruit all of the people that come into the Hyatt. So every single one of you, if you get a job in the Hyatt, you'll meet me first. Um, and really, we're passionate about bringing people in and growing their careers. Um, there's a lot of really great examples. Actually, um, DJ was talking about Tim Combs. He's my boss. Um, he started as a bellman. Um, our general manager of the entire hotel was a line cook. Um, it doesn't matter to us where you start. What matters is the work that you do once you get there. After the company presentations, the students had the opportunity to ask questions and make personal impressions. 
pulling hoses to the big glass machines that was in the We got steel grit. You ever seen like uh, like a bigger piece of steel? Think about that work crushed down like oatmeal, looking like oatmeal powder, but it's steel grit. And you're sitting there and you're having to shovel that stuff off. You have to, and that's what you're doing all day long. Or you're inside a containment and you're sitting there just spraying all day long. Or you're just sucking up grit. Just, you got like a big industrial vacuum that's on the floor all day long. That's the type of stuff that we do in our field. So, I mean, I hope I hope somebody here says, you know what, I'd love to do something like that. I want to take that opportunity because the opportunity is in front of me. And I think the benefit that you guys will get out of it is huge. The next phase for the students will include personal training from the Demetrius Johnson Charitable Foundation and the guarantee of getting employment. The teachers and staffs from the various schools were excited about the students getting this once in a lifetime opportunity. Today was a, a really, really good event. I think the important thing is to expose the students to various different companies. And the fact that the companies are here and it's an intimate setting and the students can get one-on-one -on -one with the companies and they can get those hard questions answered that they would probably not ask in the interview, they can get more a little bit more comfortable. So I think it was a really, really good opportunity for um, Demetrius to do this for the students at St. Louis Public Schools. Um, at Northwest Academy of Law and Social Justice, I'm the college admission specialist there. I've been there since 2015. So this is the first of something like that and I hope it's the first of many to come. Finally, DJ says the reason for the day was to provide career opportunities for these students. This is important. We, we have missed this generation of kids because everybody overlooked. They think you got to go to college to be successful. You don't have to go to college. You can get in one of these great companies and get a career going and take care of your family for a long time. That's what's really important, that these young folks want a career. These companies that come today, they're here to give these young men and women a career.